Good morning, everybody. Uh, happy President's Day. Today, we're going to finish up Section 1 of Chapter 2 and do at least Section 2, maybe Section 2 and Section 4. But Section 3 will be done at the beginning of Chapter 5. So this is a pretty short chapter. Up until now, okay, last time we went in class, we talked about increasing, decreasing functions and constant functions. So increasing function is if it looks like this. So if x1 is less than x2, then y1 is less than y2. That's an increasing function. Now, as we go further to the right, it goes higher. A decreasing function this is increasing. As x1 is less than x2, then y1, the first y, is less than, is lower than y2. Then a decreasing function. is one where as x1 is less than x2, then y1 is greater than y2. So this one's at y1, this one's at y2. So that's always gonna be true. So x y1 is higher than y2. That's decreasing. A constant function is x as x1 is less than x2. Then y1 equals y2. That's a constant function. It has no slope. All right, so now we're going to look at the next type, which is called a piecewise defined function. This one is a function that is made up or consisting of made up of two or more parts. each with their own domain. A function that is made up of two or more parts, each with their own domain. It looks like this. Let's see, here's our function. Here's a function. It's made up of three parts. These are my y values, the range. Here are my x values, the domain. So if x is less than 0, we use this equation. If x is between 0 and 2, 
we use this equation. And then if x is greater than or equal to 2, we use this equation. So all we do here is graph this equation on all three of these on one graph. So it's like the first one. Okay, well, one, two, four, five, and so forth. Five, one, two, three, four, five, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Whenever x is less than zero, it's strictly less than zero, it doesn't equal. We use this equation. So for this first one, our x's and our y is equal to x plus one. So always start at that point. Even though we can't use it, we can plug in there. So x is zero, zero plus one is one. And it has to be, x has to be less than. So it has to go this way. So we go to negative one. Negative one plus one is zero. At negative two, negative two plus one is negative one. And let's buy one more. At negative three plus one is negative two. So let's plot those points. These remember, these are all points. An X and Y component. So at zero. It's one. I can't use it because I can't use zero. So I put an open circle there. At negative one, the answer is zero. At negative two, the answer is negative one. At negative three, the answer is negative two. And so it continues that way. That's the first part. Now the next one, it's between zero and two. So from zero, one, and two, those are my X's. These are my Y's, they're all three. Remember, these are all points of the graph. And remember, since I can include zero, this point, zero, three, is a solid dot. When x is one, when x is, I cannot include two, so I put open circle there. And that's that graph. And lastly, My x, whenever greater than or equal to 2, I use this y value. So y equals x squared. So starting at 2, 3, 4, 5. When x is 2, we get 4. When x is 3, we get 9, 16, 25. So we can include two. So we can use this point at two, four. It's a solid dot. At three, nine, so the graph will keep on going something like this. So that's the piecewise defined functions. You notice that each X on the domain has to be included. If this one's open, that one's got to be closed. If this one's open, that one's got to be. You cannot have two open ones because your domain has to go from negative infinity to positive infinity. And then from here, it's like, what part is increasing? It's increasing from, this one goes on forever. So it goes on from negative infinity all the way to zero. 
I can't use it because that I can't use that one. And it's increasing from two to positive infinity. Because from here on up, it goes, the graph goes up. It's not decreasing anywhere. Does not exist. And where is it constant? Between zero and two. I can use, I can use zero. I cannot use two. So that's the piecewise defined function. And again, the lines do not have to connect. Let's look at another example. F of X is equal to two X when x is less than or equal to zero. I should put x there. When x is between zero and three. And whenever x is greater than or equal to 3, the answer is 3. Remember, these are my y values. These are my x values. My domain. Like you notice how the domain, it goes from negative infinity to 0, 0 to 3, 3 on. So you cannot have any jumps, any skips in the X values. So the first one we look at, is 2x. That's the first equation. It occurs when x is less than or equal to 0. So I could be 0, less than is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So at 0 times 2 is 0, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and negative 6, and so on and so forth. So since we can include the 0, we put a solid dot there. At negative 1, the answer is negative 2. At negative 2, it's negative 4, and so on and so forth. It goes on this way. It's a straight line. We know it's linear because there's no exponent. The next equation. The y equals x. It's from 0 to 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. I cannot use the endpoints, so they have to be open circles. So at zero, zero, I have open circle. Even though it's included there, I still look at it. At one, one, at two, two, but at three, I cannot include that, so it's an open circle. So 
So that's that one. This is this one. And this one is that one. So my y value equals 3. When x is greater than or equal to 3. So it's 3, 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. Notice, always start at what the endpoints are. If you can include it, it'll be a solid. If you can't include it, it'll be open. So when x is 3, y is 3. When y, x is 4, y is 3. So this would be a solid dot. So at 3, it's 3. I put a solid dot there. At 4, it's 3. At 5, it's 3. So it goes on like this forever. That's how, that's how it works. All right, so that's the end of section one.